Well, a very good morning. How are you doing today? Uh, this is uh, the Buzz UG, and uh, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. I have a lot of stories coming your way this morning, and I hope that you don't miss on anything because they are all interesting. Yes, they are all interesting. Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba, how are you doing, Sebo? <laughs> Anyway, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, starting from Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba's camp, Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba, President Museveni's son, is trending so big time after putting up a series of disturbing statements on his Twitter handle. And right now, people are asking that, is this big man okay? Is there something wrong with him? And one of the tweets that caught a lot of attention from the public is this one. Uh, it would take us, my army, and me, two weeks to capture Nairobi. He calls UPDF his army, which I think is very wrong. Actually, on this statement, he's been insulted so big time by both Ugandans and uh, Kenyans. Well, I should tell you that there's a lot that he has said on his Twitter platform, you know, starting from statements that he directed to, you know, the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Shetamu, aka Bobby Wine. Well, it should be remembered that General Mohozi is the commander of land forces in the Ugandan army. So for me, I find it very awkward for a person in his position to post such unnecessary statements on his official social media platform. Now, big government officials have reacted on Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba's statements. Now, the Speaker of the Kenyan Parliament, Moses Wetangula, has said, A whole commander of land forces, Mohozi Kanerugaba, tweeting nurses in the name of Chasing Cloud. What a shame. Uganda is just a meme country. And Senator Kiprotich has said he expects by morning at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Kenya to summon Ugandan ambassador to shed more light on Jeno Mohozi social media outbursts and subsequent apology. This is undermining the spirit of East African community. Now, coming back to Uganda, Bobby Wine has also reacted on this guy's statements. Bobby said, Dear Kenyans, you now understand what it means to live in Uganda under General Museveni and his son, who he gifted the highest military ranks and put him in charge of our land forces. Sadly, beneath the ceaseless tweets lies a monster who brutalizes and tortures our people for fun. Dr. Kiza Besije has also reacted on General Mohozi Kanerugaba's tweets. Basically, everyone is wondering what's happening with General Mohozi Kanerugaba. Guy is over talking. And can you imagine, government officials right here in Uganda have started defending him. Uh, for example, this Minister of Agriculture, Horrible Frank Tumwebaze, has said Mohozi Kainirugaba was joking. Oh my goodness, really? Uganda government officials, you gonna defend this? You guys, you're better than this. You can do better. Sometimes a mistake must remain a mistake. Eish, Uganda, Olemua. <laughs> Anyway, hashtag Uganda vs Kenya is trending so big time on Twitter and hashtag Mohozi Kainerugaba is trending as well. I'm following up this story very closely and I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Now, in this video that's making rounds on different social media platforms, Jeno Salim Saleh, President Museveni's brother, is seen with a group of young people smiling and saying that they should forgive Fred Kajubi Lumbuye. <laughs> Now, Fred Kajubi Lumbuye, a few weeks back, said that Jeno Salim Saleh died on the 19th of August. Well, I don't know if Lumbuye this time is still gonna tell us this video was recorded a few years back or he's finally going to admit that the big man is alive and kicking. 
Now, His Excellency Bobby Wine has again called upon Ugandans to protest against President Museveni's government that he says continues to cause suffering to the people of Uganda. Well, in a press conference yesterday, Bobby Wine at the NUP headquarters was joined by families of over 20 supporters who were abducted and others are still missing. Well, Bobby Wine also announced plans to establish an education fund to assist children of the abducted supporters of NUP. Well, the spokesperson of Uganda police, Mr. Fred Nanga, has revealed that they have summoned the member of parliament, Honorable York Adria, who shouted vote rigging during the Iyala elections last week. Well, Fred Nanga says this member of parliament acted disorderly and punched a police officer who was on duty without any legal justification. So he's been called to ask more questions regarding this matter. Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, Geita uh, Honorable Member of Parliament, Ono Mugutongole, Yeyanjo Lukustelecha Sia Idiatu Nyonyole, Chichi Echamu Virako, Okumbo Mpoli Sona Chikonde Kukutu, Te Nechigende Rewa Echali Mabega Uenese, Yombo Msirikaro Nyalia Mkulachi. Now, former presidential candidate Joseph Kablater has announced that his pressure group National Economic Empowerment Dialogue has transformed into a political party. Kablater announced yesterday at a press conference in Bugolovi, this is now the youngest political party in the country. The delegates have also agreed to some major changes to the party, the most notable of which is that it is no longer the People's United Movement but it is now the National Economic Empowerment Dialogue or need. Bobby Wine's supporter, Tracy Bobby Holick, who was recently abducted and later arraigned in court over celebrating General Eli Tumwine's death, has finally been given bail. Big upon yourself, Castle and Horrible Shami Malende, Kampala Woman Member of Parliament. Well, there you go. That is the latest updates I have for you right here on The Buzz UG. I don't know what you make of these stories that I have for you this morning, but in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. And most importantly, subscribe to The Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. I'm following up on that story of Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba. You know, everyone is talking about this story so big time, and I promise that I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. As usual, my my name is Melads Milo, aka Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.